Hey, it's State Representative Gary Byron with a probably my last update, I would think. It's around 3.40. It's about 20 minutes to 4 in the morning. It is technically, I guess, Saturday morning. So the last time I gave you an update, I told you what had happened in the, in the Senate earlier uh, Friday afternoon, how three senators, three, excuse me, three Democrat senators uh, across the aisle and voted in favor of the Republican budget. Well, something very similar happened in the House tonight, and and four House Democrats broke with their party ranks very courageously and uh, voted in favor of what I used to call the Republican budget. But like I said earlier, it is now and always will be a bipartisan budget. So it passed. That's the great news. Now, by the way, is it a perfect budget? Absolutely not. I mean, we're in very difficult situation here in the state of Connecticut. There's no secret about that. I can admit that. Every legislator can admit that. We all can admit that. So it's not a utopian budget with rainbows and unicorns. Not everything is liked in there, but I got to tell you, you, the good far outweighs the bad. Now, what happens here? Well, this is great. The budget passed. However, it goes to Governor Malloy's desk to be signed by him, and then it becomes official and it becomes the law. However, and unfortunately, we don't anticipate that happening. If that does, uh, great, but if it doesn't, that's entirely on the governor's back. He will own that decision. The legislature, as he has asked us to do, and all of you have asked us to do, we have done our job. We got together collaboratively and passed a bipartisan budget. It is now up to the governor from here. So that's it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you feel that you were very well informed over the last couple of days in the budget process, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for sticking with me.